also something that we uh, support and suggest to a lot of people who have a, a platform such as this is this is really a great way to have a baseline, right? So that you have you ensure that you have consistent content going out that's company content, industry content, um, and it gives a little bit more flexibility for that personal content, the native content yes. to come out when the moment is right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm glad you said that because maybe this this might sound overwhelming to some people as well. But just this is just what I do. What I do is when I have a thought, it's not necessarily that I have the thought when I'm scheduling my content. So I have this habit of scribbling notes on my phone or in a book, uh, you know, when I have a thought. So I have like a LinkedIn notepad over there that I have a thought it's here. So when I sit to create content, it's not from nothing. It's from all these thoughts that I've had, um, you know, ideas that I have. And now I just need to put them together, think of a few new ones and I'm done for the month. And the tool lets me kind of do that. Yeah, and another tip that um, I've used before is doing a voice memo to myself. So a lot of people you know, do that. Yeah, <laughs> and because another thing with writing native content is um, some people find it challenging to type their thought because it yeah. turns into a different type of language. Whereas when you're writing native content on social. The idea is to be as authentic as possible. And so you want to capture as much as you can of your true voice in your in your posting. And I've had that happen also with posting, but also with writing LinkedIn summaries, right? If I if I sense that a customer is getting blocked at some point, I say, OK, let's whip out your phone or I do it on my mm -hmm. phone. I press the record button. I say, tell me what you want to say. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can go back and transcribe it and you can edit it and copy like draft it. But having the authentic message can sometimes be helpful if you use a voice memo as well. I think that's a very good point because I have often been asked this 